Hello, it's Evelyn of Grow Together with Eve. I'm so excited that you're here. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I am a wife and a mom to four beautiful little children, and I enjoy sharing my experiences and tools that I've used to help you make better decisions and grow. Today we have a DIY and I'm going to be showing you how to make this page marker to get ready for the new year because it's got a vision board twist. I'll show you what you need, how to do it, and some tips and tricks at the end. Before we get started, I have to say thank you for these beautiful tools that I'm using to decorate my page markers today. Thank you Isolay of the Seasonal Pages for the beautiful printables and Jessica of Live Love Posh for this beautiful sticker book. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna tell you what you'll need to make your page marker. A stencil, something to cut with, an X-Acto knife, a rounded paper punch, a hole punch, some paper and pencil, some glue, and something to decorate with. I recommend stickers, possibly washi, and maybe even some old dividers that you may have lying around. A laminator and some laminating sheets, of course, or if you have self-adhesive sheets, those will work. A ruler. Now that you have what you need, let's get into the steps. First, you want to grab your stencil and go ahead and trace it onto your paper. Then you can go ahead and grab your scissors and cut down your shape. And then you want to grab a pencil and your stencil to make your flap. Stay tuned. I'll show you that a little more detailed in the tips. Grab your X-Acto knife and cut out those tabs. Grab your decorative elements and prep them if you're using your old monthlies or dividers you will cut those to size and then you want to go ahead and decorate now this next step is definitely suited on your preference and that is rounding out the corners next you want to grab your laminator and warm it up while you're um, doing some extra decorating. Again, this is a preference step. So if you don't need the glitz and glam, you can definitely skip the glam. Then you wanna go ahead and laminate or put into yourself adhesive pages. Go ahead and take that X-Acto knife and cut out the flap or tab. And I would suggest running back through your laminator. Lastly, I'm going to tell you some tips, tricks, and recommendations. So, recommendations. If you enjoyed watching this, but you are not down for the DIY, <laughs> grab a bookmark from the seasonal pages. And let me tell you why. It's about the same size as the one that I made. It's ju it just doesn't have the tab. And if you're not with making, this bookmark is beautiful. And she has seasonal ones. So here is the Seasonal Pages website. This is where I got the printable. Um, her printables are beautiful. And if you're getting into journaling, you want to check this out too. Actually, if you're getting into journaling, journaling and you don't know about the seasonal pages, you need her. Um, her actual stickers and postcards and um, die cut out like stickers are great um, for like just anywhere you're going to put a sticker, honestly. But I would say for this page marker craft and for anything else you want it. Also check out her stationery, um, but back to bookmarks. So remember I told you that she has seasonal ones. She has seasonal ones and then she also has like this wood mark on her bookmarks, on some of her bookmarks. You got to check them out. It's just so stinking cute and like I love mine. <laughs> so also on her webpage, 
Polaroids, postcards, washi tapes, totes. These are all really gorgeous things if you're going to do journaling and decorating and more crafting in 2021. In the description box below, I have a 10% off coupon for seasonal pages for you and check out her rewards program. So for Live Love Posh, um, her stickers, I mean, gorgeous as well. The Blooms and Icon sticker book is what I used on the page markers that have the 2021 on there and the resolutions and the one little word. Also check out her vellum and her dashboards and her pins. Make sure you are signed up for her emails because her sticker books sell out fast. Now let's get into the tips and tricks of making a page marker. Keep handy whatever you're going to use your page marker in so you can make sure you can fit the size and for the stencils that i use i recommend using the packaging of the happy planner and also a washi tape ring let me show you why what i mean here like the gritty nitty gritty step by steps so i kind of use the sizing like for my page marker in this because i find doing it this way it fits in more items and then i just to make the tab like the height of the tab i use a happy planner bookmark you could use a dashboard too and i would definitely say the dashboards that have um the three positions would be great if you're going to use it in one now here's another trick use your ruler for the edge that has the hole punch when you trust trace on um, one of these packagings if you don't use a ruler your pencil is going to kind of go into each little punch and it won't be a straight line so this will help cutting be quicker as well because then you can use um just kind of like a full cutting board for this so then i um, also recommend utilizing the pages flat edge so that you can do less cutting as well so i'm just double tra tracing that little curve there because i do like um having one side curved because the side that goes into the book i like straight so it kind of just sticks better for the bookmark i'm using that straight edge again of the page to line it up and i recommend using the page horizontally or in landscape so you can get more out of the page right now I want to show you how I did the tabs so I used the top half of the packaging ring you know kind of like the peg loop and then I pushed and kind of pushed it down here I recommend making sure you have a good amount of space for a tab um, probably about a centimeter and a half deep so that you can have a tab that's really going to hang on to a page, um, maybe even two centimeters. So just kind of line that up so your tab can be two centimeters deep from the top of the tab. Um, and then this section right here, I would say even do it a little bit wider than I've done it here. Another option is to use a hole bunch to make a hole and then goes two centimeters up for your tab. With your old dividers and dashboards, this is going to make your page marker thick. So I recommend those as well. Here's another reminder to decorate your page marker for goals. And this is an example of using a washi ring for a tab. Just go a little bit higher than shown. For decorating with any sequence or um, glitter, I recommend that quick precision tool because there's a gummy end that will pick up glitter and then this will just help your fingers from not getting all glued up. You just tap it and place it. With putting these down though, I definitely <laughs> will tell you that my fumble was putting sequence way too close together you can kind of do this with glitter um, by placing you know pieces of glitter close together but because the sequence kind of comes up from the page it um, bubbled a little bit when I put it through the laminator my super crafters will know this but 
it's been a while for me, so I kind of messed up. <laughs> now, using your word of the year, if you're not familiar with this, I definitely recommend looking up what the word of the year is. It's, I mean, the long and short of it is just really a word to help you focus on your goals for the year. I recommend making a page marker with it on there because the more you see your goals, um, if you place your goals in multiple places, it'll remind you to focus on these goals and make time and plan towards your goals. So that is what I'm definitely giving you as a tip for these page markers. And this is how I'm saying we're getting ready for the new year. So my word for 2021 is confidence. Um, and mainly for me, this is confidence that... Um, I have everything that I need to do and reach my goals and I need to have definite more confidence in my faith in the promises that have been given to me to move forward within this next year. Speaking of the new year, there are so many new videos that I have in queue for you. So make sure you have the notification bell marked on the channel. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And a comment in down below if you enjoyed this video and what you would like to see from me in 2021. Thank you guys as always for always commenting and I am so happy that you watched this video this far. Thank you. Remember to continue to grow and I can't wait for gathering with you in the next video.